And Thank I you, just as proceeding uh, with uh, another um, outstanding guest of honor. And uh, it is Professor Dr. Egidio Dancero. Uh, and uh, he has informed that amid the all the challenges that he could have been facing, like he's managed, he has managed to join us, to join us in person. And uh, he is about to give the inaugural speech on the day nine theme about sustainable tourism and social cultural integration in mountains. And uh, I would tell a few words about uh, Professor. Uh, he's a Prorector for Sustainability Cooperation and Development of the University of Turin, Italy. And uh, we are looking forward um, to um, hearing uh, your your comments, your insights, and uh, knowing how big your part in organizing also was, it's a great pleasure for me uh, to invite you. So the floor is yours. Thank you. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Uh, good afternoon. First of all, I would like to thank the organizer of this important initiative and extend my warmest greetings, greetings to all the participants. I would also like to bring the greetings of the rector of the University of Turin, as we are lead partner of this summer school through NatRISC. NatRISC is a, an, an in a interdepartmental center of natural hazards in mountain and hillside environments. And is one of our research center that is more specialized on uh, uh, mountain uh, research, but not, not the only one anyway. Uh, I would like also to bring the greetings from my colleague Michele Freppaz and Marco Giardino, who are president and director, respectively, of NatRISC. And also I want to thank my friend and colleague Stefano Duglio, who is vice president of NatRISC and coordinator of the partnership with uh, this very important summer school. I am speaking both in my institutional role as a deputy vice rector for Sustainability International Development Cooperation, and also in my disciplinary specialization, as a, I am a researcher, I am a professor in political and economic geography, and also member of uh, the scientific committee of an association that is called the Dislivelli, who is uh, involved in uh, studying and communication, communicating the uh, mountain uh, environment. In my studies, among the various uh, research topics, I have dealt with issues of sustainability of local and territorial development, also in mountainous environments, and of major events, among which uh, I have paid particular attention to the Olympic uh, Games, uh, as uh, we hosted uh, the Turing 2006 Winter Olympic Games, and uh, Italy will also also put the, the, the Winter Olympic Games of 2026 in Milan and Cortina. And so it's a particularly interesting uh, laboratory in which to try to understand uh, also the impacts uh, between uh, these mega events and uh, the territory, particularly the mountain uh, one. And uh, the uh, more recent years, I have fo focused my interest on the topic of alternative food networks, in particular on local and urban food policies. Uh, the theme that will be dealt uh, with on uh, the ninth uh, day is uh, sustainable tourism and social cultural integration in mountains. And uh, this, this topic integrates very well the other themes uh, dealt with uh, in the summer school, focusing the tourism, tourism sector, which has a relevant and growing interest in mountain environments. In the first part of the talks by the expert, the state of debate on the sustainability of tourism in the mountains will be presented, considering the different dimension of sustainability, environmental, economic, social, and in particular, cultural. The expert will then discuss models and approaches to sustainable tourism, ecotourism, and the sustainable management of tourist destination, considering in particular the role of ICT and digital technology in making the tourism experience and management more smart, and then delving into some topics such as agritourism and the possibility that food mountain products can be a tool for promoting tourism. Finally, the presentation of the participant will 
present an interesting variety of reflection and research focusing on different mountain territorial contexts in different parts of the world. In short, there are all the prerequisites for a stimulating day's uh, work that I believe will yield uh, important results and, and greatly enrich the participants' training and research. In concluding this greeting and brief presentation, I would like to bring to your attention a few questions evoked by the interesting title of the ninth day, that is Sustainable Tourism and Social Cultural Integration in Mountains. The first concerns as a geographer, a geography of diversity. If the mountain environment leads us to make general reflection, unite and connect experiences just as sustainability, as pro being progressively framed as a general challenge for the earth and humanity through the 2030 agenda and the 17 sustainable goals, we must at the same time take into account the diversity of context and territorial situation that we have in mountain environments. The different processes of population and depopulation that affect them and the different paths of reproduction of cultural and social capital in mountain environments. The relationship between climate change and the mountains that will be addressed specifically in other sections of the summer school is also of great importance in terms of tourism, undermining established tourism specialization in the mountains, opening up uh, other possibilities, both in terms of tourism and agritourism and mountain food products, and requiring important and rapid changes. Another issue which affect the mountains' territories to varying uh, degrees is that of depopulation on the one end, although this cannot be generalized, under the impetus of urbanization and aging, and aging, and also international migration and the possibility of repopulation on the other side. These demographic and socioeconomic changes in mountain environments also pose major challenges from a tourist perspective. On the one hand, even in tourism, although less than in other sectors, there are trends towards a growth in company size, the affirmation of large scale chains, and on the other hand, there are possibilities in the perspective of slow, fair, and responsible ecotourism of businesses, perhaps, perhaps family businesses, that can contribute more to reproducing mountain cultural capital, even though they need to be qualified in terms of managerial skills, especially, especially for those more isolated mountain context, if tourism requires management of its environmental and cultural impacts against the risk of stereotyping, at the same time, it represents an important connection with long networks with other territories in a rediscovery of tradition and specialization, in particular food, but not only. This enhancement of tradition and local identities must, however, be seen in an open sense in the construction, quoting the geographer Doreen Massey, of a progressive sense of place in the diversity of mountain territories. Thank you, thank you for your attention and I wish you good work. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time devoted to present um, the session that is for sure about to sparkle the vivid conversations and looking for the solution. Thank you very much for your expertise shared with us today. And it was a great pleasure and honor to have you.